Sitting in the Bentley, smoking moon and rocks. Hey. Pocket full of mother blue, blue rocks. What's up, everybody? We got a whole new truck build for today's episode. But before we get into details about that, I'm on my way to Circle D. I'm meeting up with our co star Miguel from KHP, and I'm picking up the curb for this for this truck build and we're gonna go over the converter and the guys at Circle D wanna give us a tour of their facility, how stuff is made, how it works, things of that nature, so let's go. Yes, sir. What do we got going on? on? It's a little bit of a organized chaos right now. What you said. Have you have you been to this so No, no, I have okay. never even been to this spot. I didn't even know it was actually cool. I used to live over here in this area in Spring Branch. Oh, okay. So it's around the corner, yeah. Okay. So it's not too far. Yeah, so we're kind of going through a little bit of a transition process. So okay. we acquired Reed Racing. This was at the end of last year. So in oh, the right. November, I think it's something. Brought them from California to Houston. Right. Working on getting that whole transition done. Nice, it's been, nice. Uh, it's been a fun process for sure. So instead of just doing converters, you guys are going to do other stuff too. Yeah, so Reed was big into basically two things okay. um, like aftermarket transmission cases okay. and then off road steering them. Oh, so nice. one we knew about, right. the other we don't really know anything about. Yeah, so you guys are going from race to <laughs> off-road, like a whole different yeah. category. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, it, the, the transmission side of the equation was kind of a natural fit for us because, mm -hmm. you know, most of our customers that are in the high-performance game, you know, if you want a, a high-end built transmission, typically it's revolving around the Reed case. Right. Um, on the steering knuckles, I mean, that's... <laughs> so the old owner of Reed Racing, uh, Dennis, kind of saw out in Baja that guys were making breaking steering knuckles left and right. Okay. It was like, man, I have the capacity at the boundary and I, you know, I have the contacts to do it. So he started putting together a couple of different options there. Right. And nice. it took off. Oh, man, I mean, that's it's a big product line. They do a lot of them. And yeah. he's kind of patented that, uh, I don't have any sitting out there currently, but they're a bright orange, like a safety orange color. Okay. And that's how you kind of recognize them in all the Gotcha. Channel. So they have their own yeah. patent, their own proprietary system uh, already, you know? That's yeah. pretty badass. And now you guys own it. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that's thankfully. awesome. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, you guys, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, it's it's uh, completely different, man. Yeah. I mean, the opera guys versus yeah. like our typical like car guys are right. two completely separate. No, by far. And, and the Baja guys, that's more Cali, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys already know nationwide for yeah. the race, but now I don't think there's that many Baja people here in Houston, is there? Uh, yeah, it's M here. Maybe now, next. That's yeah. probably the next thing, you know? Yeah, I guess you can drive up and down the bayous. Or we something need to find some dudes <laughs> yeah, or that's something. About it, yeah, man. yeah. Cali, yeah, it's full of that. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. I was oh, yeah. gonna say we they have a perrillo too. You saw that dude asleep over there? Uh, <laughs> nah, that wasn't a guy asleep. Oh, okay. yeah, get him. Yeah. Right? <laughs> to be fair, it yeah. is break time. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, they, no, I was saying we, ten minutes. we have a guy at the shop who like takes little bags oh, here and there. there yeah. So I was like, no, that's normal, bro. It ain't normal. Yeah, we yeah. got guys. Any t any chance to get man? It's like boom, immediately yeah, horizontal. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Got ten minutes. Is there a time, bro? I mean, whatever, you know. But yeah, so this is where all of our like both like three axis and five axis machine occurs. So kind of natural progression it comes in as a like a, a raw forging yeah the op one where they do the mill ops okay um, i don't have any op two stuff currently around here but the third op is uh right here when they'll start doing the bolt pattern and then from here it goes to from here it'll actually they'll flip it over and do oh, the inside okay. yeah. and then lastly it'll get the bolt pattern right okay kind of progression on the, uh, the standard body equipment on the five axis machines okay we can walk over there and I can all right that. andy right behind you I don't want you to lose your good one. Go on to that. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows yeah, you, something. You can automate it one, though, <laughs> you know, at that point. area all you know basically every converter well not every converter but a lot of converters start life as like an oe unit of some sort right okay came out of a uh, old nissan titan out of something okay so kind of comes in here the cut guys will either get it cut open on the manual machine or the cnc split it apart yeah. get all the components washed right. verified sorted and at that point it kind of starts making its way through the shop right. typically process flow would start at cnc and then make its way over to the manual machining area and then Back. Okay. Uh, but every you know everything kind of has a natural progression throughout. 
So uh, every, every single thing you guys offer is Texas made, it's in-house for the most part? Yeah, so every converter that we sell is made uh, made in a 100%. Simple, 100% right here. Here? Yes. Nice, so it's nothing offshore? No, nothing. yeah, we don't we don't outsource any of that. Yeah. Now, like raw material-wise, of course. Uh, some, I mean, you, you never know where some of our suppliers get their stuff, but at the same time, you know, all the machining, all the finishing, all the right. fabrication That's what I is meant. done right. Because all this stuff, yeah. we know it comes from overseas. I don't know, if, not your guys, but like like the wheels, for example, they come from China or whatever, and then they slice yeah. it up. Yeah, we don't do any any China business. Or okay, like I don't. Oh, no shit. Okay, even better then. Yeah, yeah. so this, this is what we would get in. Essentially, this is a stator blank. Mm -hmm. So this is first step here. And then essentially, well, here's a... This is what comes out of the five axle machine. Then it would go over. We would actually put a, a ring on it. So this is a this is a steel component versus the aluminum. We've got okay. a couple different stator materials. Right. But it just makes it a little bit easier for us to machine quickly, add a ring onto it, and get it out the door. But right. this is this is an airfoil stator. So okay. not your traditional flat blade design. The industry, you know, kind of forever from a stator technology standpoint, it's a fixed blade angle on both sides, meaning it's flat on both sides. What we kind of developed is what we call airfoil technology. It kind of looks almost oh. more like an airplane wing. Right. But basically, we can adjust what we call like the K-factor curve of how this converter couples okay. um, and kind of reacts throughout the throughout the power band. So right. it makes it easy on us. You know? Gotcha. If you say you want 200 more RPM at you know 3,500 RPM or whatever right. maybe, uh, we can we can do it. Right. Exactly. It's all manual machine here. Okay. Um, this is service area, things like that. Nice. I can have a. A big robot over here that uh, handles most of like the uh, up plates and stuff. Okay. Not he's not like a walking around like fully automated robot. But uh, it's so it has cool. arms and shit or. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, okay, no. okay. I'll tell you. It, it, it's <laughs> called a cobot. So. Oh, I see what you mean. This guy here. So I mean, he's got some kind of arm, you know. Yeah. So the programming basically, you'll set you know a pump here and a pump over here. It'll come out, touch off weld the table's pneumatic so it'll actuate over a flip right and then it'll weld the other side damn i didn't realize there was so much into this shit. It's like all sophisticated yeah. stuff too you know it's crazy well chris you know the owner of the company mm -hmm. he's a tech guy likes, okay likes the fun stuff this nice. is one of those that hey man yeah. it looks fun <laughs> yeah right <laughs> which is why we bought it initially and uh, it works well so before did you guys always have this obviously not right so this kind of replaced that blue machine right there okay uh, that, that one cabinet. Was Thing for the most part, right. so William will take the up plates and the hubs, load them up, and then this is the newer iteration of right. that blue machine. Gotcha. But I mean, even that old faithful, you know, it's it's got it's still put in work. Oh yeah. So this is way more efficient, though, huh? Yeah, it's, hard it's, to almost... say. it's way cooler. It is know? cooler by far. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you know, at the same time, I don't. I mean, it, it does a pretty good job. Okay, That's so the output's doing. about the same. Yeah. Okay, cool, badass. The nice thing about this, it doesn't have to be on. Whereas that, you have to oh. sit there and watch it. Right. You have to stare into the window, okay, okay. make sure it's not malfunctioning. This here has enough belt safes built in that you know it pretty much takes care of itself. Nice, so. nice. Yeah, I actually like that. Me, me, myself being a tech guy too, you know. Yeah. yeah. These are our TIG welders. We got four full-time TIG welders where all okay. they do all day long is basically weld blades, weld stators. I'll show you the engineering room real quick. Currently, we have uh, two full-time engineers on staff. Uh, we're actually going to hire a third. Okay. Uh, yeah, they design, do all the all the stator blade profiles, all the uh, internal components of the converters. So you guys are always doing uh, R&D and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. So this is, yeah, this is, uh, basically it's a quality control machine, essentially, right. is what this is used for. Um, Kara, we interrupted you, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt your work. Yeah. He's showing yeah. us around the facility and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, how accurate is this machine? What does it dial down to in terms of? Point one thousand. Okay. Yeah. So nice. extremely, extremely tight tolerances. Yes. You know, yeah. makes uh, makes quality control for her and us. Right. Pretty, pretty streamlined for sure. Nice. Thanks, Gary. Thank You're you. doing an awesome job. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, that's Gary's office. We got a three D printer where we R and D some parts and things like that. Okay. Uh, just kind of proof out programs. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I honestly didn't know it was this big, like okay. this this professional. I mean, I know it was. I mean, you, you guys were a legit brand and everything, but I never knew it was like. Yeah, we tried it. This, yeah, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, put off the perception anyway. Yeah, right? no, it's because yeah. most race people they're not this clean. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I want to say yeah. it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's a real clean, like state of the art facility. And it's hard to. I mean, we. This is a very dirty product. By nature, yes, that, that's oily. what I mean. In the, that's what I mean in the race game. Yeah, it's oily, you know it's greasy. Yes, so, sir. Yeah, keeping it clean is. Yeah. Uh, 
Now you, you guys clean, uh, keep a clean shop. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, we try to for sure. Yeah. Uh, let me grab that converter and uh, maybe you can be ready to rock and roll. 5C, right? That's what we're doing Is that what it was? Yeah. We go. build guys and uh we'll go over the details in a bit beto really wants to be the one who like reveals it to you guys tito and alex and i want to say tiny's over there at the shop right i think so i think tiny pulled up today he didn't pull up last night not gonna say much about that tiny but you didn't pull up last night and you were in houston and we're at the racetrack we could have used you but the guys are working on the truck right now we're about to head over to our shop miguel's gonna head over back to it's his shop, shop yeah. so we, we'll see you guys over there at our shop What is up guys, welcome back to the On The Gas show guys and uh, we got a little special treat guys because I, I pulled up to the shop and all of a sudden there was a new truck at the shop and I'm wondering what Beto plans to do with this truck but we got my boy Tito out here, he's working on the truck. Let's go check out what he's doing because they got a welding ring out here, everything out here. What you doing? Man, uh, you know, Beto and his craziness. He wants us to build a, a back bumper that uh, is pretty much un unbreakable. So <laughs> we had to get the pipeline skills out of the closet. And uh, we're doing a four inch pipe bracket right here. Pipe. Yeah, schedule 40, buddy. We ain't got some 90s this morning, some end caps. I guess he wants to knock down some buildings. I don't know what the hell he plans to do with this oh, thing. So Tell the people how you got this truck and, and what it took to find whatever Beto wanted. Got a message, wanted a four-wheel four drive, 6.0, 2,500. So we drove across uh, past in San Antonio to go pick up one up. We show up and four-wheel drive don't work. So our next option was to drive all the way down across Texas to Marshall, Texas. And we found this one. It's a little rough, but at least the four-wheel drive works. Here we are, we're trying to get it. It's crunch time now for Bandas and Trocas on the 25th. That is right, guys. We got Bandas and Trocas coming up on the 25th. Let's go check out this truck. Hey, we use that Project Torque tire shine on there. That bubble eye, the bubble eye. Guys, right, this, is, this is not a 420. This is a, this is a 720. I look into McLaren. I believe it's a 2001. <laughs> it's not bad, not too bad. I mean, look at it, guys. What y'all think? It ain't too bad. Like I said, guys, I don't know what Beto's plans are for this truck. I still don't know. I still don't know. I don't know he wants to take it to Crosby, make it an off-road truck. I am not sure. So let's wait for Beto and let's see what he has to say. I'm pretty sure he has an idea. I'm sure he saw a video somewhere. It was like, yeah, you know, a, a truck off-roading or making some jumps, you know, Baja truck. I don't know. I don't know what Beto plans are for this, but guys, let's go check out this rig, cause holy shit, look. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, Tiny's here today. He's actually trying to help out. I'm here today. I'm uh. Sway my ass off here a little bit, supervising mostly Tito because he ain't worth the fuck. <laughs> Shit, I'm a bad man, dog. Oye, ¿qué pasa con tu torcha, güey? ¿La mandó a la verga este? Esta torcha es para los pelados arrastrados. Esta. Puedes cortar. Porque llega, llega. Cor corta de, de arriba de la troca. De la troca, ahí están acostados. Arriba de la troca. Todos ustedes los corría de volada. Vámonos. Cáten, güey. Al gay. Cáten, así. ¿Te cáten con el señor Lástimo, güey? Ah, pues este, este es porque es camarada. Es de agua, leo, güey. Dale, marca la verga. Vale, dame la verga. Ahí lo vamos a comando. 
¿Eh? Huguito. ¿Qué? Una vez cuando fui para Apa, Gualeguas, así le dicen todos ahí en Gualeguas. Huguito. ¿Cuál Huguito? No, miren cómo está. Estoy, estoy chiquito todavía. Va a tener rain out ahorita. No rain out. No rain out. Pinche madre. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. You worked on it? Yeah, I did some of the work. I kind of designed it. Where are you trucking? 2020. 2020. 2020. Yeah, you don't see a lot of those. Houston, Texas, right there. Houston, Texas. Acá está el jale. ¿Qué está haciendo allá? Están como si fueras. Hey, mira. Como si fueras celebrity. Vete para acá. Córtale aquí, primo. Mira, fíjate allá. No, ahí se va a meter, señor. Parece Gloria Trevi ahí en la cámara. No te están diciendo que le cortes arriba. No, hay que señor. cortarle más, señor. Más al, re, al radio. Hombre, eh. Qué hombre, eh. We found enough stuff here. Ahí está, Huguito. Aquí andamos. ¡Aló, no! Es que está chueco el nivel, Ida. Pinche Man, nivel, no, viejo. <risa> Se lo robó la verga. Ahí está, le faltan unos cuernos al frente, como tú dijiste. Ya apenas. Unos Longhorns allá al frente. Ahí está la Longhorn. Alright, guys, we, we need a name for this truck right here, so y'all comment down below. Y'all take a good look at the truck. Check it out. We got Longhorn, yo le, la King Ranch, I know, I, know, I know it's a Chevy, but la King Ranch. What's another good name for this truck, guys? I don't know, y'all comment down below, and y'all gave some good names for our Costa truck, and I really like that, so let's give it a name, let's bless it with a name. All right, guys, so gave y'all a quick little update of uh the situation going on right now with that truck like i said i don't know what Beto wants this truck for i think i think for crosby i think he wants it for crosby yeah i think that's another little project we have for crosby because i mean every time we go to the crosby with the monster truck it's 20 guys in one truck so yeah, yeah. Man, that looks like another little crosby project yeah, yeah. yeah so i think it might be a crosby truck uh you know probably bumper so we can pull it easier i'm not sure guys so but quick little update we'll check on tito in a little bit we're gonna let him work you know We actually put a hitch on it so we can tow with it. It's great. What's up, Big Daddy? So, just a little finishing touch. Yeah, I just gotta wall it all up. We're fixing to put a little reinforcement bar right here, bar across the brackets so it won't bend the brackets. So, basically, gonna be running over everything. We're still not sure what this truck is being used for, so I think I think it's going across. Man, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's gonna start hauling fucking cars out of the out of Crosby with it or something. <laughs> ain't, ain't no telling what he's gonna do with this thing. For me, because he, he didn't he didn't really tell us what the truck was gonna be for. He just sent Tito out there. He told me he would go pick up a truck, and he went to go look at a truck. It wasn't the truck. The four x four didn't work. So he traveled all the way across Texas to Marshall. And found this one right here. Yeah, that was a drive. I think I drove, what, 16 hours that day? <laughs> Man, 16 hours in the road, guys. That's crazy. That's like going up Arizona. Yeah, I got home with no, no ass. But, yeah, we but got it here. Now down. we got to wall this up. I think he wants one done for the front, too. I don't know what all he got in mind. He can give you a better explanation about that. There ain't no telling what he got under his sleeve. Yeah, but I know this thing right here is some, it's pretty, pretty beefy. We kept the original brackets, but we're gonna go ahead and put like a reinforcement right in the middle. Just in case. Just in case. Bam, like that. Woo. Start 
building like <laughs> well, the welding machine wants to weld already. Damn, so you'll be able to tow it. Oh yeah. We had to put a little tow hitch on there. Para que lo ponemos algo, algo atrás, un logo. Yeah, we'll probably put something like get back or fuck you or something. <laughs> so with that being said guys, I'm gonna let my boy Tito finish up here. We gave y'all the little update of how it's coming along. A lot of cutting and fitting, but they're the experts. Yo solamente, yo no, yo no. A mí por me lo dar troca si. But we're gonna let Tito do that. In the meantime, we're gonna wait for Beto, guys. So y'all stay tuned for the rest of the video. What's up, guys? Literally just got to the shop. And as you see, my boys went out there to Circle D. Big shout out to Circle D for hooking us up with the converter that we got for this new build. Now, you guys might be wondering, what are we building, you know, today? And, uh, well, I'm sure you've seen the truck, but real. We started the vlog on the truck. So today we're going to be talking about this brand new build that we got. Now, you guys might be wondering, why the hell did we buy a 2500 HD gas truck? Well, I present to you guys our new burnout truck, which it doesn't really look like a burnout truck. This is gonna be our destruction burnout truck. We're building this to go in there and crash everybody. So if you see this thing in the pit, I recommend you not to get in because you're gonna get smacked. Now I learned all this good stuff from my boys in California, and we're gonna be showing you guys the new bumper that my boy Tito and my boy uh, Hugo got done. Now, Tito was like, man, we need a badass bumper on this truck. And you know, Tito likes to fabricate stuff. So he was itching to, to put on his welded suit and all that good stuff, and they got down, check it out. Now, I don't know what exactly, what kind of piping they use. I don't know if they, they, they stole this from the refineries or if it's the pipeline or, or what, but this thing is beefy right here. Now check it out, it's a straight pipe. Give it a nice little 90 right there. A nice little cap, weld it up. Uh, now we bolted it up to the frame originally and I think it looks pretty good. It looks like we got a ranch truck. Now it is a ranch truck, but it looks like it's ready to get in the burn up. Now it doesn't have any power. Now this truck does have a 6.0, which is good. We actually picked this thing up in the north side of Texas. I'm not sure exactly where exactly my boy Tito got it, but he found it. So I sent him out there and he picked it up to make sure that it's a 6.0 and that it has a 4x4. So this truck does have a 4x4, so we're gonna be doing 4x4 burnouts and all that good stuff. Uh, now it's a long bed, which is a little different than what we got. You know, I usually have the Takashi truck measured out, you know, when I'm swinging it. I, I already, I've been doing it for so long, I already know, you know, I can get real close to the wall. But on this one's gonna be tricky just because we got a long bed now. So I present to you, we're gonna call this one the long horn. The long horn. Now we still got a lot of work to do. Now I hit up my people from Texas Speed. They sent me some heads, PRC heads, a cam kit, a badass uh, intake, a 102 millimeter throttle body. My boy Kike at KHP is gonna be doing all the work with my boy Miguel. And we're gonna be doing the headers. We're gonna be doing the two step. Uh, we're gonna be doing the tune. We're gonna be doing the 85 Caltrax transmission. Now gears, we will not be swapping out the gears just because it's a 4x4 truck. So if we do swap the gears in the back, we need to swap the gears in the front. That's just whenever we wanna do the 4x4 burnouts. We are not switching the gears on this truck i believe this truck has 373 gears so right now we're going to be dropping it off at khp talking to my boy kike and let him know that we on the crunch time because we want to take this truck to bandas y trocas which is coming up may 25 so that's literally next week and so we literally just got this truck yesterday and the parts are on the way from texas speed my boys at khp got everything pretty much ready to go so right now we pretty much got to drop it off let's go talk to tito and see how hard was it to to get it done tito uh, so what what exactly what, what kind of piping we use is this, this uh, is like a special pipe or it's just we use know? a schedule 44 inch pipe schedule 40 yeah and we went ahead and cut cut the old hitch out to put hitch because I know you like fucking shit up and I ain't fixing to be fucking pushing this motherfucker. Yeah, so yeah. we got somewhere to toy with. So that's not the thickest, thickest one because there's still a schedule 80, right? We got schedule 80. We got, uh, I mean, you got double legs. I mean, you, you can go bigger, but, but this, 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 will, this is fine, right? This is go through anything. Now it's it's thick and it's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. That, that, that <laughs> bumper right there is at least 100 pounds. 100 pounds, all right, yeah. cool. And you did this right now? Yeah, we did it right now. We started, I don't know, probably around noon. We just knocked it out right now. There you go. There you go. So, so it's all pretty much ready to go. Now we still got another bumper that we got put in the front, right? But that's that's yeah. after. That's after yeah. we get the stuff done. Yeah. So there it is, guys. Custom bumper in the back. This thing is gonna be uh fucking shit up in the burnout pit. Like I said, if you see this truck in the burnout pit, get out. Yeah, that's too long, bitch. I'm gonna put a. Uh, 
<laughs> Red X what? Oh, Hellcat. A Hellcat in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like I said, if you see this thing in the pit, I suggest for you just to run. Bro, yo. Yeah, just run, bro. Run, run, run. Now, I don't know if Perrillo showed this badass rig from my boy Hugo. And check this thing out. Real nice single cab F350 on 28s, 37s. I mean, badass bed and everything. Machine. Got the nice all stainless steel covers and everything even the cooler has the cool brackets for it and it matches and everything matches i got speakers built in bluetooth oh okay 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 pardine there you go that's what i'm talking about and this is my boy zugo's truck also yeah that's it right there check it out don't slip on the drip there you go this guy got the swag this guy got the swag he be pulling up to the job site you know dripping and everything all right guys so we're gonna be taking this truck right now to khp and it looks like it's fixing to start raining so we need to hurry up before it starts raining and uh good stuff so let's go hey yo is that mexican ot i walk around with a beastie it can make a buddy do a backflip turn around drum on me see his ass up have his mama throw a beast feet say you want smoke push so you can hit the all saying mexican i got me a reach beat slide down his block i'ma knock off the top i'ma reload the block now before we leave yesterday track session was went really really well we actually turned it up for the first time and um well as you can see it in like the last pass it didn't like it it actually uh spun more than we uh anticipated that it was gonna do and then again we were testing it on the no prep lane so we just want to get badass data for whenever we go to a no prep event or an event and we get the shitty lane where we know this truck can get down we already know what tune to put so uh really happy with the outcome and the numbers that this truck is putting up and then of course we got the gangbang over here this was just chilling and waiting for his turn. This truck right here has been putting in the work. This one hasn't really been putting in the work yet. We haven't, you know, we haven't gone to events. We went to one event at HMP the beginning of the year and uh, we raced all the way to like four in the morning. And then it, another truck messed up the whole track and the event pretty much got canceled. So we had to split the money and all that good stuff. But it was, it was in the back. It was in the back for sure. Uh, so yeah, we got the two killers here. And also, guys, we got the 2024 F-150. We got the wheels for it out ready. So I'm going to be putting some tires. And you guys will be seeing this truck at Bandas y Trocas, May 25. So make sure to pull up. This truck right here is going to be at the Friendly Ford booth. They are going to be having a booth over there at Bandas y Trocas. They're going to be having some nice trucks. And this truck right here is going to be at their booth. So if you want to pull up and check this thing out in person, make sure to pull up to the Friendly Ford booth. And you can, guys, check it out and see all the good stuff. Now, it looks really good with the welds, but we will not be selling this truck with the welds just because these tires are not pretty much DOT approved but the wheels and tires that we are putting on we're gonna put some nice 24s uh, with some nice uh, Toyo Proxies tires and that will be street friendly and legal DOT everything ready to go so this one will be there so check this thing out at Bandas y Trocas literally Bandas y Trocas crunch time is going down right now we got a lot of things to do so we need to hurry up and drop off this other truck so we can continue doing some other stuff because like I said we gotta get ready for Bandas y Trocas May 25 and the weather's not looking too good now i don't know if you guys seen but i was out i was out in mexico doing some uh business well, i went to a, for a business trip in mexico because we will be doing an event in montemorelos nuevo leon which is right there by monterrey we got a track over there we're gonna do a burnout pit we're gonna do a bunch of stuff racing burnout pit the whole nine yards in mexico for the very first time now we've been doing burnouts but this time we will be racing over there so just know that it's coming we will be going to mexico and put it on an event for you guys in montemorelos nuevo leon it's literally about 30 45 minutes from monterrey so that's gonna be badass and i was over there making some moves and i seen that these guys went to the ex exhaust shop and my boy acosta they looked a little lost but real and acosta they didn't even know what they were saying they were like oh what do you want well i don't know this this and that well i want this well i want it louder i don't want this i don't want that but they should have waited for me to come because i am the muffler expert i am the muffler whisper i don't know if that's how you say it but let me call acosta and see how it sounds because i've seen it i've seen the video but i haven't heard the truck so let's talk to uh acosta i seen that he did headers hey your truck let me hear it I was a little disappointed, no, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed. We've been to the muffler shop so many times. These guys should pull up and know what the hell they want, you know what I mean? And Perrillo and Acosta pulled up and they were like, well, they didn't know what to what to get. So, Borla Attack, I believe it was. Borla Attack, Corsa, those sound really good on these trucks. I've done both of them. Borla Attack sounds really good and the Corsa sounds really good as well. I actually did the Corsa on one of the SS clones, the giveaways that we did, the Pewter clone. And that one sounded really good, but that one was really, really loud. And I know Acosta doesn't like it that loud because he daily drives this thing. 
You can't find the key, bro? No. Oh my God, you've been hanging around too much with Perrillo. Perrillo be losing all the keys. So every vehicle here at the shop has a new set of keys because he lost the original ones. So now the ignition key doesn't work on the door on every vehicle, literally. I'm gonna let you look for them and we'll be back in just a few. Boop. What's Perrillo at? The meteorologist, Perrillo. Yeah, meteorologist. A ver, saca, ¿qué está pasando? Got a tornado in Houston. How many? We got three of them. We got one from what I've seen. All right, guys, so change of plans. We might not be able to drop off the truck right now just because there's a tornado watch. There's a tornado right now, right there. Yeah. He's coming down this way. All right, guys, so we might change the plans. We're here at the shop and we're going to go drop off the new burnout rig, but it's Fixing to start raining, it's nasty weather, and there's a couple of tornadoes going down Houston. Wait, ya se está moviendo. ¿Está más ayuno? Ayuno, right now. Take over now, move to the basement or interior room. Oh, que me levante, no hay pedo. Que no pasa nada en el shop, wey. No pasa nada, pero. You got the emergency kit? Yo ni tengo life insurance para que sepas. Dice mi mamá que está en la vida. Bueno. Not every day we get a tornado warning in Houston, bro. I know. We're in Oklahoma right now. The bad part about it is we got all these nice whips outside. I know. Ain't shit fit in the shop. The full house out here. Yeah. Already floating over there. Oh, yeah. rolled through downtown Houston this evening left indoor offices open to the elements even before the sound of breaking glass. Preparing you for the storm's aftermath. You safe bro, you oh, safe. safe. Alright guys, so we had a little tornado, but it passed. Without being said, tornado gone, no hurricanes, no typhoons, nothing like that. We're gonna take the old uh Oh, Betsy over there. I'm gonna take her to KHP so I can do their little magic. And uh, that's crazy, bro. Burnout truck with that type of bumper. So let's go. Hey, wait. Yo, yo quiero jugarle chocones a esa con, el, con mi flat verde. Back bumper versus back bumper. Yo que aquel, wey. Mira, pasó, pasó un tornado y la troca no se levantó, wey. No se levantó. Se movía más la de Buffalo que la de allá. Mira. Sí. Pero aquella. Standing on business, baby. Eventually. It's a beautiful day outside. You see that tornado? You see the tornado? Hey, your fellow brother right there, boy. That's a good looking truck right there. Hey, este vato, wey, al chile con esa troca, parece el vato que de la película Twister. It looks like he's out there looking for tornadoes and shit. Pero hey, cuando pasó el tornado, como estaba bien escondido en el shop. Sí, en la esquinita. Sí, estaba todo miedoso. Y ahorita ya nomás se pasó y ahora sí no trae camisa y anda bien verga, ¿sabes? Sí, ya quería el... Eh, yeah, but that truck really does fit Alex, bro. Uh -huh. Se me hace que tienen que cambiársela por la 420. Esa ahora es el perrillo y el guacala en la long bed dando la vuelta. Sí, pa. Está buena la troca, pa. Churro. Y corta, pa. Y se me shorté. <risa> Good truck right there, mom. Camera right there. <laughs> 
truck. Yeah, daddy didn't have a truck. I got this Chevrolet right here. We're gonna make fast, baby. Yeah, and she gonna be in the burnout pit. So in the burnout pit, you better get the fuck out of this thing. Alright, ready? Alright guys, so <laughs> we made it a KHP. We got outlets. We don't got hillbilly outlets no more. We made it a KHP. We're gonna drop this behemoth here and uh they're gonna make it into a burnout truck. So y'all stay tuned for this. This is exciting because I never seen a 2500 HD bubble eye. I like went through a 420. That's una 420, but on steroids. <laughs> With that being said, guys, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I love you, Lord. Jesus Christ! With that being said, guys, we are gonna end the vlog right now. <laughs>